Welcome to Shareholder Updates, a production of Gorecom, in which companies put out updates for their shareholders. This is one of those big, broad-based interviews for the masses. This is more like a target update for the shareholders of HPQ Silicon. And the press we're talking about today, HPQ Silicon Pulver Fume Silica Reactor Project Update. Okay, so that's convenient. Bernard, welcome back, my friend. Thank you, George. All right, let's get straight to this. Mm -hmm. Excerpt from the press release. The Pyrogenesis engineering team identified the need for additional enhancements to improve the pilot plant's performance. Mm -hmm. So you've got some people out there thinking, uh oh, this is a problem. There's a delay. Is this an issue or is this an optimization that is in the normal course of things? It's an optimization. It's, it's, it's an optimization in the sense. That People don't understand the the, the, the technique as, as much as I do or the guys at Power. Like, I'm not an engineer, but, you know, I, I've been talking to them for, for a long time, and I have many of them I talk to, okay? And in a layman's term, okay, the pilot scale, we did the material uh, at the lab scale, okay? We did the material, and we picked it up in the reactor, okay? Once you go commercial, the transfer of the material from the reactor to the bagging has to be done in a continuous process. Uh, from our experience with the QR, from my experience working with my guys on SIOX and silicone-based material, when you carry those hot materials into a chamber, okay, they could be reaction. So it, after discussion, because you guys got to remember that our goal for this machine is to go commercial with this, okay, to resolve all the yeah, issues obviously. and the bugs. that you. Can do. Our goal is not to produce, say we've produced silicone, it's good, but, you know, the machine's going to block, okay? That, we, we, we could have done that, but basically we said, okay, oh, okay, to make sure that there's really no issue in the transfer from one point to the other, it requires longer longer work on the, on the, uh, on what's called the, um, and what's the process? I, have to, I forget that word, but it's basically the refractory, okay? It's the refractory. This this is a process that's a high temperature process, aka why we're working with pyro or working with plasma, high temperature process. So you just got to temper well the, the equipment. Um, if we hadn't wow. done this process improvement now, we would have done it later. But then it would probably have been more complicated because it would have been would have been an issue. So, you know, when, when you design the first system, you go through commissioning, everything works well, everything's like you're working. And then somebody asks a question, yes, but could this... Could this create an issue? That's, that's what there's always brainstorming session. And it says, yes. So how do we resolve it? We do an enhanced uh, uh, conditioning of the part and it'll resolve the issue. And we will. We also know that with that, okay, we will get a higher quality material at the end. So this is so, not a Houston, we have a problem. Nope. This is, hey, we can do this better. But yeah, the, Let's do it's, it now. we. We can do it better, and it's all related to what are all the steps we're going to do when we go commercial, okay? When you're building your first pilot plant, it is the first of a series of things, okay? So there's a series of first things you go through the process, and you realize, okay, we got to focus more here. we got to focus more there. That's normal for the PAR, all right? If our focus was just on issuing a press release to say we've made material, okay, we could have we could have operated as we operated before. We would have made material that's been that's been accepted by pyrogenesis. No, that's not our goal. Our goal is to go uh, by pyrogenesis. I mean by Ivani. Um, yeah. Our goal is to be able to be able to capture it. We don't foresee any issues with this because this is not something you know. Uh, we're not doing like Elon Musk, you know, you know, blowing up four or five rockets to get it to work. We're just getting the system to, to go from point A, the material to go from point A from point yeah, B. Yeah, yeah, he blew up four rockets. If you've seen yeah. the, if you've seen the documentary, he ended up blowing up four rockets, and then the fifth one had to work, or they're out of business. Right? Mm -hmm. SpaceX was done. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so you're not. Well, you're it's not. not it's not the up. same thing for us. You're not running. You're not running the reactor, and it's blowing up. And you got to figure out how to blow up and try again. You're just optimizing. No. So no, no, that's we're, 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 and we're optimizing a part of the system that's outside of the reactor. Okay, it's between the reactor and I won't get into too much technical detail because a I probably don't make it sound as good as the engineers do. But the key point is it's a it's a piece of equipment that we know is going to be incredibly hot. It has to be controlled and has to be kept in the right temperature at all just before we we bag it to be able to to store it.
a lot of those equipments are known about the refractory. It's not we're not reinventing the wheel refractory. We just we we just came to realize oh, we have to we have to do more conditioning to it than we originally anticipated, which is normal. That's what we call a process oh. enhancement because that's that's part of the question we ask ourselves: How can we scale this up faster to go commercial? So then here's the, I think, and then here's the ultimate question. Mm -hmm. How does this change the big picture of the fume silica side of the business? Any meaningful delays or how, mm. how, how does this impact the big picture in terms of what shareholders have in mind is the progress uh, of the fume silica reactor? Well, for me, big picture wise, changes nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, even if you take a look at our timing from that we've issued at the end of this, from this one compared to the previous press release when we see commission was finished, there's not that much change to it. Okay, the only thing that happens is the big milestones where you know we go from we're gonna we've done this at lab scale, we've done this at pilot scale. Okay, which is an important milestone that will occur. I have no doubt into it. Um, is coming is is coming soon. That's it. It doesn't change the machine works. Uh, you know, we have a good idea how the concept of the machine is going to work, how it's going to operate, do those issues. But it's all part of a, a big picture. So big picture changes absolutely nothing. Small picture, yeah. looking at people at small terms, it changes a heck. It seems to change a heck of a lot for 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 some people. If you yeah, if you're looking for it. You can you can call it that. Well, then I found this interesting. Here's excerpt. We're making strides towards securing off-peak agreements, and are excited to lead the charge in revolutionizing fume silica manufacturing. So, mm -hmm. if in the same press release you're talking about you're making strides towards securing off-peak agreements, I mm -hmm. interpret that, and I think a lot of people interpret that as nothing's really changed, and you are in the discussions with Ivonic. I'm assuming Ivonic, unless you're talking about oh, it, 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 it's it's it, at, at the basic it's Ivonic. We signed an LOI, we published it. We, we right. said forward. Oh, like I said, agreement. So I go, hey, maybe some of this. But yeah, well, should we, should shareholders and your investors be reading into this that in fact it's such a nothing burger to the big picture, like you're saying, it does change nothing that this hasn't changed the co the commercial discussions at all, and you're making strides towards securing those optic agreements and if so can you expand on that a little bit again i know you can't tell us the details of your discussions and things like that but can you shed any light on that in terms of pace how it's going are you guys on the same page with ivonic you, you know, shed some light on that if, if if you can or however however much possible you can um okay i'll keep Bringing back the big picture with Ivonic, okay? In July, we announced we, we signed an LOI with Ivonic because they have an interest. At that moment, okay, they validated, okay? They validated that the material we made met, met their their uh, the quality specs. That's big. That's massive, okay? That's sort of like in our battery space when we show our 18650 batteries doing this type of thing. So, and this is even bigger because this is somebody else that allowed us to use their name. They don't usually allow small companies to, to use their name okay most most majors do not no I know do not my, okay so experience. and in the ongoing discussion that we have with the technical team that is in charge of the commercial technical team that's in charge of the discussion with regard to the uh, off take agreement okay they would like this to move faster than we do for the very simplistic reason that we want to wait until we you know we want to know exactly what we're going to, we have no doubts we're going to get it, okay? But we're going to wait until we've actually made it, then we can sit down and have stronger conversation. But what I can share with, with, with shareholders, and I hope they will understand, is for them, they have no problems, you know, and they actually do believe that we will succeed at making it at pilot scale, okay? They already would so they like want us. to lock it down earlier. It sounds like what you're saying. They want to lock. They, could, they, want, they to want to lock put a ring earlier. on it earlier. Yeah. If if I was only interested in moving the share price and doing those those type of issues, okay, I could quickly lock in something, but it might come up to being not the best deal I could negotiate. So devil's advocate, Bernard. I'm gonna play devil's mm -hmm. advocate because there's a risk reward to that. 
-hmm. That's basic negotiation. If you're whether you're trying to sell a house or you're trying to get an offtake agreement on a fume silica reactor, you know the yeah. the, pro, the, proje the production. The longer you wait, and you know the, the the more you negotiate, the better deal you get. But devil's advocate, could a shareholder or shareholder say, Bernard, come on, it's a small cap world, uh, you know. It's not the most certain industry in space. Lockdown offtake agreement now. You may not get the the best, best deal, but go out there and just get a real good deal and lock it down because you've got other legs of the company uh, to build on. And for example, the, the silicon anode side, you said it's going to be several multiple, 10, 100 times bigger than this. Mm -hmm. could, you be, could you be guilty of it without knowing that you're – negotiating waiting and waiting for perfection whereas maybe you should just lock it down now and put a ring on it i got asked that as a devil's advocate because there is a risk reward well it depends how short-term view you have okay it's it's because we're not talking here about like years and years we're not talking about you know months and months we're talking about you know days weeks those type of issues when we start doing the wow. material okay it's as i told you it's incredibly binary this this thing okay it's 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 a incredibly binary. The moment we make it and we pick it up in the bag house, okay, then we know the entire process works. Then we work on fine tuning it and improving it. Then we but we then at that moment we'll done. So we're very close to that moment, okay. So I would find it incredibly silly to have waited this time, okay. And now because supposedly you know. Yeah, I could do the, the the markets are you're right. The markets are not guaranteed in the sense of what it is. But I don't foresee any competitor right now uh coming online and saying, ah, uh, we have a better process to do fume silica. I don't see that coming along for the very specific nature of how the fume silica business is. Um but I'm seeing a lot of people entering the the, the silica, silicone type of business, but you know, they don't have our our, our track records or years of of at least developing those multiple stool, uh, legs of technology that we have. But in the fuel silica space, okay, um, it's not a good, it's not going to be a super complicated because in the term of the LOI, everything is already pretty general there. It's just, it's just going to be a question of how we get the party that signed that will sign the offtake agreement to participate in the financing of the system. And if they don't participate in the financing of the system, then we need to get a bigger you know, share of the pie. Those are really the issues where, where everything comes online. And to be able to fully finalize this, okay, we got to have the system there to know, okay, to scale this up, this is how much we got to go. We, we got to school down. We got to go from a higher scope of, you know, a rough order of magnitude to, to, to good order of the cost. You and, said and, earlier... it's, and, it's, and it's not that long. Well, that's what I was going to focus on. And again, I'm going to ask because if I put my flux no. capacitor on, I can feel people at home watching, listening, saying, George, ask him. So the question is, you mentioned earlier, this isn't the case of months and months. This isn't a case of if I if I play if I play for the optimal agreement, I got it months. You actually said the words. I'm I'm pretty accurate. That I'm pretty sure he said we're talking days, if not weeks. I'm not sure if you meant days literally, but here we, we are, in November twelfth. Weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even going to get close to this for the very simple reason. As I said, this is binary. Okay. Uh, the moment it will be out, it'll, it'll be out there. It's. But at do you this, think this, do you think weeks could mean the end of before the new year, December thirty first? I I definitely want much. I do. I think when I say I, I mean pyrogenesis, and I want it as soon as possible. Okay. All right. We want, we want this. And I know you can't as... give an exact date and I wouldn't ask you to because then I would pin you down your negotiations where you might get Evonik saying, hey, you told everyone December 24th, Christmas Eve. So, you know. You You're better... the one that said that date, not me. Yeah, no, no. I'm saying that as an example. So I know you can't yeah. be specific about that. I know you can't be specific. Mm -hmm. But all right, it's good to know that we're there. It's not like, okay, as a result of this, we're, you know, we're going to be, we're going into June next year or something like that. Awesome. Um, when do you think last question, because there wasn't a ton in this, but it's important to, you know, really parse out, you know, what this all meant. When do you suspect samples? Cause you actually say samples going out to Evonik. When do you suspect samples going to start going out? 
As I told you, it's binary. The moment we start making it, we send samples. Wow. Even if the first yeah, material yeah. we do just reproduce what we did at the beginning of the pilot of, of the lab scale, it shows we're in the right direction because that we know how to bring it up. So it's, as I said, it's, it's, it's a binary. This is what is so, this is why I find this moment to be the toughest moment to manage in a certain way. Okay. Because you're so close and so far. And you know, I well, you're, so you're, far. You're I, pregnant, I'm, I'm so you're close. You're pregnant. You're waiting for the baby to be born now. That's, Right. Yeah, Everyone's looking thing. at their what is it today? Is it this weekend? Is it next Saturday? Everyone's on edge. You got your bags packed. You know you're gonna go to the hospital. You're just mm. waiting for the baby to arrive. So, Bernard, then I'll ask it this way then. So forget timelines, all that. And I think you've done a pretty good job of explaining to us that this is an optimization. The big picture doesn't change, the nature of the offtake agreements and everyone's sense of urgency or not. Um are you guys between yourself and Peter and the and Pyrogenesis, you guys are feeling good. Like you, the, the you guys are feeling the same level of confidence that you felt a week ago, a month ago. Yeah, nothing has changed. Really, really, nothing has changed. Okay, but as I said, th this is the roughest part of being an R and D type of company. Okay, it's because because it's a new system that you're building. There is no uh, exact roadmap okay there's an sure, approximative absolutely. roadmap but there's not a precise roadmap and right now the problem is people are taking an approximate roadmap making the absolute roadmap and seeing anything that goes longer than they think it should be become an issue and it becomes difficult for for me to communicate this the best way i found to communicate this was the following i exercised a hundred thousand uh Warrants at 30 cents to send a message that I strongly believe that we're going in the right direction. Maybe that was missed, but I did it at 30 cents. I, I could have bought more share cheapers here at the at this price. But in the, uh, in the big picture, okay, with my big holdings, I will succeed. And, we, and, we and will in all fairness, succeed. and in fairness, and everybody watching or listening to this right now can 100% relate to this. Agoracom, we thought we were going to have our new website up and running earlier this year and mm -hmm. then may 5th yeah we're gonna launch this thing and we ran to issues so we had to take it down and we're not talking about optimization we're talking mm -hmm. about we ran into issues and that's just building a website which has been done before by us it's been done before by other people and mm -hmm. look at the delays and things that we ran to and you're not even a delay you're optimizing you're like okay we can do it, but we can do it even better if we just take this step now rather than taking this okay. step after we've launched the commercial plan. So for everybody that's watching and listening, you got to remember, I can relate to this. Uh, mm -hmm. And 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 go ahead. You want to chime in? Go ahead, Bernard. I, I want to chime in to say one thing, okay? It's not really a delay. It's in, yeah. it's in delay in the start of doing it, okay? But it will speed up the, 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 the back part. So those are the type of uh, arbitrage that we do, okay? As I said, okay, we could have operated the system and made the material and dealt with that issue later on and, you know, but we decided let's deal with it with the beginning because the more we know about how the system works and how we have to build it, the easier our negotiation for offtakes agreement become because they're all centered on building the, the, the thousand ton reactors, okay? Which is the scaling of the system. That's the message I want. I want to come. So it's, it is not a issue or problem. It's an optimization. Okay, we felt we by doing this now, we would make the system. We would make the transition later on easier, based on the information we have. That's that's how we see it now. The last question. So mm -hmm. you've answered this. It sounds it sounds like you've answered, this, but I'm going to bring it up anyways. And I never talk about Fudster. Sometimes you and I said. Sometimes I tell you, don't talk about Fudster. But mm -hmm. you had the Fudsters somehow concoct this. Well, that's why the silicon ad node and the, the silicon anode battery press releases have been going out to cover for a problem that's going on, on the fume silica side. Uh, what what are your comments of what, what are your comments about that? What are your thoughts on that? Because because it has affected the share price, but I don't think anybody mm -hmm. knew this, right? Because it wasn't a problem. The rocket didn't blow up. 
But how do you address that to the to the loyal shareholders, to the the the, the believers? Well, what happened is that sometimes a story on its own on social media, okay, because that's that's what the fudsters use, okay, gets amplified. You know, there's no communication on the fume silica reactors. There, there's a problem. There's no. It's not. I, I've told that many, many times. The fact that we don't communicate doesn't mean there's a problem. I mean, we really don't have anything, you know, massive to communicate. If you think about this, this press release is sort of material. a rehearsal. Nothing material. Really, we don't really have anything material to do, but I felt it was an appropriate time to, to update people, to get them to understand that we're still moving in the right direction. And I want people to remember something. And I think it's a mistake I did when I was speaking about the anodes last time. You know, I mentioned the anode might take two years because we, you know, something in two years before we, we, we get to the pre-commercial and off-take agreement. Because in my mind, that wasn't a big issue for a very simple, simplistic reason. We are here with regard to doing our first uptake and our first revenue, in a sense, revenue optimization of one of our technologies with the fume silica. That's what that's what the LOI with Ivanic basically says. Okay. And I don't understand how suddenly now this is something different. I don't know. It's you know, this is one thing, this is another thing. There's, there's one thing I know about R and D projects, okay. There are some moments where you don't really have that many material things to talk about. Luckily right. for us, we, we've we done the battery on the sideline because the battery on the sideline is done by another R&D group, okay? This is advancing. It's getting a lot of great results moving forward. So it's a plus and people are making it a minus. I don't get it. I really I, I really don't get it, but it's I'm always like the, It's always like Fudsters would prefer you're a one-trick pony. So that you've only got news about fume silica, and that's it. Because if you're putting out news about your second leg, somehow it's because your first leg is now it's because your first leg is not working. First leg is a problem, for, 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 as opposed for, 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 to thanks for having multiple legs, and we haven't even talked about the other ones. We're not going to talk about yeah, those. but but you see, uh, but, if if people take it, I have communications with people that basically says their share price is the ultimate advocate. It is not okay. I can name you tons of companies that were undervalued that suddenly blew up and going undervalued. Some that are overvalued that went down. It is not the arbitrage. But in the case of HPQ, okay, fume silica, we're delivering. We have an LOI with a major one. What else do you want? We're you know we're gonna we're gonna get the machine to start. I un I understand that part. That's so we got one last big check mark we haven't yet accomplished. But nothing material tells us we're not gonna accomplish it. Okay, battery side. We've blown past the competition, okay? I am in discussions with groups that are interested in doing probably even better documents or bigger documents than the LOI I've done with Evonics for the battery material. That's why we said we signed 14, 15 NDAs. And that's given absolutely no credit. That's said, that's said to be an excuse that, no, it's not. It's just two things moving forward. So... That's why I said I bought 100,000 shares at 30 cents to show, like, you know, I actually believe in the value of this company. I believe in where we're going. Do that logic, by the way, mm -hmm. if and when, because I can't predict the future, but if and when something really, the next big positive step takes place on the fume silica side, the funds are going to say, he's putting that out because something's wrong on the battery side. You, you can't win. You can't win. But, you, you, you know, you're, you, you, you're you got to You got to remember there's a reason why safe Canadian mining is becoming more important to advocacy group. Okay. Because these people emphasize, okay. To create, to, to create a story. And I'm, I'm, I feel bad for investors that listen to them. They get nervous about those issues. Uh, I try to communicate as much as I can, but what's going on. And the message I'm having with the, with the fume silica is this is a project. That's very, very close to commercialization. Okay. And it's going to be binary. Okay. Until we've done it, we haven't done it. But when that switch occurred, but at this moment, there's nothing telling us that we're not going to do that switch. The only thing I cannot tell you is which exact day it is at what time. I have a general ballpark figure of when, but I'm not going to say the ballpark figure. I pretend to shut off the recording right now and I ask you, can you tell everybody? <laughs> Bernard, thanks, my man. I appreciate you coming on.
to further clear. You always do. You're one of the best communicators. And uh, 99%, 98.5, 99.5% of us believe in you. We can't wait. We want that baby to come. And uh, and we can't wait for that that day to happen. Oh, by the way, hey, in thirty seconds, I should have asked you this: How does the U.S. elections, if at all, change things for HBQ? Just in thirty seconds, we can have a more elaborate discussion. But since it just happened, you know, new administration in the U.S. does is this better, the same, or 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 worse for HBQ? I would say it's the same or probably better as sort of a reverse logic, right? The Biden administration was the most green-oriented administration ever. Right. That was the best time to buy oil and gas. So, uh, and I was reading articles that were saying, okay, now, the, now that the government's going to get out of the way of financing what we're doing, okay, at least in, in, in the U.S., <laughs> not in Canada, maybe not in Europe, but in the U.S., uh, more capitalists, more uh, funds are going to come in and replace them for for people with great ideas. So I think it went well. If you think about the business strategy of HPQ, what we do is we take uh, processes that have been offshore, okay, and basically redesign redesign them to be right shore into it, okay, and be right size. So I'll give an example of fume silicon. Okay, Canadian market is maybe 14,000 tons. So that's about, you know, we can do 10 reactors in Canada to do it. The U.S. market is much bigger. I think it's 40 to 100,000 tons. So we'll we'll build some plants in the U.S. There's nothing for us that complicates. So it doesn't really change anything in the big picture. And since our technologies are modular from the silicone to the anodes to every issue, we can, we can, we can always right size this at the, at the right place. So in a bizarre counterintuitive way, it's actually very positive for HPQ. All right. Thanks for joining us, my friend. Can't wait to have you back. I wait for those phone calls. I wait for that phone call to come in one of these nights or one of these early mornings. Say, George, clear the schedule. Thanks for thanks for being here, buddy. Have a great Thank day you. and uh, continued good work over there with Power on the Group. Bourbon at home. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got some good clarity out of it. And like Bernard said, and we're going to start pushing this a lot more at the new website and with some webinars we're going to be doing with all small cap CEOs. But in order to counter the shorts and the disinformation campaigns, get on Agoracom, man. Get there where the where the discussion is verified. The uh, All the fudsters aren't allowed. We don't allow guys to repeat every single day the conspiracy theories. Uh, and get there and make that your home and not just for self-serving reasons but for all of us so we can have better communication and uh, and more transparent communication but until then have a great day thanks for joining us see you next time hey small cap fam i hope you love this interview because more than a dozen people were involved in its production for the sole purpose of making you happy if so can you take a moment to support both our awesome guest company and agoracom your engagement means the world to us. First, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up by tapping that like button. It's a small gesture that helps this interview reach even more potential investors to discover today's guest. Second, we would love to hear your feedback on this interview, so please leave a comment below. Be sure to keep it clean, but feel free to poke fun at George. If you loved what you heard on today's video and want to dig into our guest company right away, Take a look at the links in the description below. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to never miss another great Agora Calm Small Cap video. Thank you so much. We couldn't do any of this without you. Make sure to come back soon.